Today, we're opening Mega Tins from 2021 all the way to the new one, 2024. What's up, guys? We are back with a Mega Tin opening, including the 2021 tins, the 2022 tins, the 2023 tins, which actually had a promo, and 2020. Four tens. So we have the last four years of Mega Tens open today. So it's going to be pretty epic. We're going to see which ones are the best. We'll have a score up on the screen. Keep in mind, I mean, the, the new tens are going to be pre-released, so they're going to have a big advantage. A lot of the time, these older tens, everything gets reprinted again, and like the value kind of goes down. So it's likely that the newest tens are probably going to be the best in terms of value. But let me know your thoughts overall on the composition of the tens. Some of them have promos, some of them don't, etc. Let me know which ones you like the most. And for today's giveaway, we'll be giving away one new Mega Ten 2024. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below your favorite of the four tens. This video is sponsored by... Whatnot. Whatnot is an awesome auction platform that I stream on very often, and I will be streaming again this Thursday, opening the brand new Mega 10 2024. And hopefully we will pull that blue eyes in QCR. We've also done really awesome streams in the past, like the search for the Stardust Ghost Rare last week, and many other things like opening every first edition box from LOB to AST. We've done a lot of crazy stuff on Whatnot, so make sure you guys go follow me there so you don't miss anything in the future, especially these Mega 10s this week. I will be streaming those at 5 p.m. Central on Thursday, Day. So if you guys come to that stream, you guys can win free Mega Tens. You guys can buy some of the Mega Tens, or you could simply just watch and enjoy the stream. And if you are a new user who's never been on Whatnot, you can click my link and get $15 free credit on your first purchase on Whatnot. So make sure you guys go find my profile, Ruxin34, by clicking the link, then bookmark my streams. I have three or four of them scheduled already that you guys can go ahead and bookmark so you don't miss them. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, here we go. First 10 being open 2021. I mean, historically has been one of like the worst age tins. Like there's not much value left in here because everything that was kind of valuable at the time has kind of fallen off. So it is not incredibly valuable. There are a few good cards in here. They've just had a lot of reprints since then. So they haven't held up super well. Let's see how they perform today. Can we pull something crazy? I'm trying to remember. I think cross out designator was a big one that then got reprinted in 2022, like immediately. So it's just kind of worse than 2022 because of that, because I think the 2022 version was like this prismatic secret or whatever, which by the way, I did see the video yesterday. Yeah, I didn't notice yesterday, but we were opening and a lot of our prismatic secrets on the new 10, some of them are regular secret rares, which is a misprint. So we're going to have to keep an eye out when we open more of these. Oh, you only got three foils back then. Wait a second. Where are the ultras? Wait, that's two super rares, a secret rare, and we got three rares. Wait, I think we got misprint tins again. These were these were supposed to be ultras, weren't they? I thought it went in. They change it up every year, but I thought it was 2021 was two supers, one secret, two ultras. We got three rares. That's definitely not right. We just got screwed. <laughs> Okay, I mean, that's a misprint, but look, guys, getting a misprint is not always a good thing. That's actually a bad thing in this case because we didn't get all of our foils. Off to an incredible start. Uh, we Look, if we have to trade our ultras from this set to get the secrets in 2024, it'll all be worth it. Okay, that is weird. We, error tins everywhere. Error tins yesterday. Error tins today. Yesterday was a good thing. Today, not so much. Warning point. Let's see if it happens again. Okay, prismatic secret. Am I going crazy here? There's no way you get three rares. Ever. I'm not going crazy. We just got... We've gotten screwed on these 2021 Mega Tins. Oh, my. And back then, when you, when you opened these in 2021, was Dragoon in here? No, it was 2020. I think the cross out doesn't was an ultra, so the best card. We wouldn't even have... I think, actually, this is kind of ringing a bell. I think I remember hearing about this because people were so mad because they didn't have a chance to cross out Designator because instead it was a rare. I think we might have gotten an entire tin full of misprints in a bad way. That's not a that's not a great start to our opening today. Not at all. Virtual world. He may Nyan Nyan. And yep, and it happened again. That's unreal. Not a single ultra rare in that whole tin. Yeah, there's something definitely wrong here. And I'm not sure if we even pulled any good cards there. So we are off to a blazing start. Let's go to 2022 and hope we don't have that bad of luck. Let's just take a look at these guys as we go. The uh, tin of the Pharaoh gods. This one had the pot of prosperity in it, which used to be a big money card. It has now since been reprinted a rarity collection 700 times. So it's not quite as valuable anymore. So these are not 
not quite as good as they used to be, but there are some big cards. I believe like Opelosa was in here. I can't remember. There was some, some nice stuff. Warlord Savage, I think. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you guys subscribe. Don't forget to do that because guess what? A 250 is literally right around the corner. Like it is coming up way faster than expected. So hopefully you guys will hit that subscribe button so we can get there quickly, open every pack ever made. I've already recorded one of the videos we're gonna be doing for that week. I have a seven day 250K special subscriber special coming up. So there's seven straight days of awesomeness. So it's really exciting. So hit that subscribe button. All right, three packs. By the way, we're opening two of every 10 today. So two 2021, two 2022, two 2023, and two of the new ones. So this should be a fun opening if we don't lose all of our cards to random errors. Okay, there's a rare. Okay, live to Lilla Treat. Dan Mario Adengister, the Heritage of the Light. Guy Armor, there's an Ultra, our first Ultra of the day. Small World and a White Baking. I need to pull that card out. That is pretty classic. White Baking, pretty awesome. And we have not really pulled much besides that, so not too incredible. Let's see about the next pack. Arm Dragon Thunder, Guitar, Terrors of the Underroot, Link Apple, we gotta pull that guy out, that's Klotsky, he's not the super rare, but he's still awesome. Flawunderies, and also guys, um, B Trooper Scout Buggy, White uh, White Knight of Dogmatica, the Book of Lunar Eclipse, I, okay, let me finish this pack real quick, because I have a good feeling about it. Oh, Virtuous, that's a pretty good one, the Incredible Ecclesia, and Despian Tragedy, not a bad pack for 2022 there, that could be a dollar, we might, might be our first score of the day. But as I was saying guys, so we pulled those misprint era tents today or yesterday and hopefully today i got those from my local store five of the cases i have one case for myself i'm going to be selling that one case on the whatnot stream tomorrow night so if you want to give yourself a chance because it's from the same batch i assume that i, I mean i got them all from the same place i don't know i assume they got them all from the same place i don't know for sure it's going to be misprints but i think there is a chance that we could have more misprints so if you want to have a chance to pull one yourself well i'll pull it for you but you guys can buy the packs go check out whatnot tomorrow it's tonight 5 p.m central because i mean i don't really know i mean how often you're going to get a chance to get these error packs. It seems like based on what I saw on Twitter that they are pretty rare, that it's gonna be really hard to pull those. So if I have a chance to pull them, I decided it'd be really fun to have those up for sale and whatnot and have some people pull some misprint secrets. So come out to whatnot tomorrow night. If you guys wanna have a chance to get that, it's gonna be really exciting. Oh, and I'm dumb because it's not tomorrow night. I'm recording this tomorrow night. It's tonight. It's tonight. Yeah, go back at it or every time I say tomorrow night, just bleep it out and say tonight or something like that. It's tonight. Tonight is when the stream is happening, not tomorrow because I get, I'm getting confused on what day it is. My schedule is crazy right now, guys. It's tonight. So to clear that up, we'll just say Thursday, 5 p.m. Central. Thursday, 5 p.m. Central. It's tonight. Don't worry about if it's tomorrow or today when I'm recording this. It's, yeah, it's just going to confuse you, okay? Just like it confused me. Uh, but honestly, probably won't confuse you guys because you guys are a lot smarter than me. Okay, let's uh, do that. Let's pull these out. We actually have promos in 2023. Let's see which one. Stardust. Okay, all right. Enlightenment Paladin. Not amazing. Not an amazing one, but hey, we'll take it. Probably one of the worst ones, actually. Let's open up these three packs. If I remember correctly, last year's Megatons were mostly about the promos. There were a couple of decent pulls, but a lot of it was not fantastic. Okay, the weather forecast, Libromancer, Inversion, Melfi, Dunnel, Farewelcome, Dogmatica, Turgy, Smoke Mosquito, Dynamorphia Domain, Spellbound, Destructive Daruma Car Karma Cannon. Okay, that's not a bad card. Primitive Planet Rekphobia. So you get two Prismatic Secrets starting last year. So that is a new thing. Okay, cool. Or new last year. This year, I'm trying to even remember, we get QCR. We supposedly get a Prismatic Secret if it's not the wrong Secret Rare, which I totally forgot about Prismatic Secrets during my opening. I got distracted and was like, yeah, these are normal. Dogmatica, we have Naturia Camellia. The Ice Jade, Runic Destruction. Vision with Eyes of Blue, cool blue eyes card, but not great. And Beyond the Pendulum, not bad. If you like pendulums, but if you do like pendulums, you have an issue. So, hate to break it to you, you guys have problems. Last pack of 2023, Mega 10 number one. Before we go on and potentially pull a Prismatic Secret Rare or a Secret Rare misprint from the 2024 10s, there's a uh, Freki. Uh, Wandering Griffin Rider. Magic Karibo, let's go. That's our guy. That will be a, uh, a candidate for what for on being a whatnot sign card. Ariana the Labyrinth Servant. That's a pretty cool card as well. Okay, honestly, I don't know. I, I feel like there's something about this prismatic secrets. Wait, in 2023, where's the ones in 2022? Is it just me or does this look a lot better? Maybe it's because this one's just darker, but this one looks amazing for some reason. I think it might just be because it's darker, but it does look really good. All right. 
last 10. And FYI, these current ones that I'm opening are the ones I'm opening for my locals. The ones that I actually own will be opened on whatnot, so you guys can potentially win those. So I cannot sell any of these cards. So if you are wanting to buy these Prismatic Secrets, you're going to have to go to Frontline Games in Clarksville, Tennessee. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's open this up. These silver tins are definitely interesting. They're different. Because all the tins have been gold. They were brown last year. We haven't really had silver in a while. So pretty interesting. I'm hoping for more misprints. I'll actually be looking for them this time. Unlike, uh, okay, so we get QCR. It's very exciting. Intimidating War, new front frontier, not frontline. Frontline game. Shout out to them. Manticore. Wheel Synchron. We have Fire Recovery. Okay, misprint. Regular Secret Rare. So it looks like this is all one case. So it could change, but... This case seems to have misprints a lot of the time. Light Darkness Dragon, what a sick pull. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Earthbound Prisoner, Mighty Dino King Rex, a Brandon Befallen. Okay, so looks like the uh, trend is continuing with the misprints. All right, two more packs. Uh, it was not every card last time, so we'll have to see how often this actually happens. Now that I'm actually looking for it, we have uh, Supreme King Ruxin special, land flipping. Mimesis Elephant, another... Pris or another non-prismatic secret, I should say. Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon misprint card. That's actually cool because it's a Red Eyes card. And a rank up magic. What is this? Astral Force? Okay, very cool. Another prismatic secret rare. That's not a prismatic secret rare. How weird is that? Konami and their quality control has been a little crazy recently, but apparently these are really rare. So if they are really rare, they, maybe they'll be worth something. Last pack for this one. Here we go. Craziness has ensued. Let's do four from the back this time. The first, uh, I think they're probably going to win the 2024 because they have pre-release prices. They have misprints on their side. They're looking pretty strong. Rux is special. Loka. Galaxy Summoner, Invocation, Alternate Art Secret, that's so cool, and a Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend, oh my goodness, they are, this, these tins are just absolutely insane. Guys, if there's ever an opportunity to get stuff on whatnot, this is going to be cool. Potential misprint pulls, I really hope this continues for our stream tomorrow, so you guys can you know, potentially pull some of them, the DMG would be amazing. It's tonight. Okay, on to the second half of the video. Opening one tin at a time always takes so much longer than just pre-opening them. Uh, just, I don't know, just this part right here. We could skip through it, but I feel like when we're only opening eight tins, it's okay to just show the whole process. 2021, 2021 probably does not have a great chance to pull this off. I'm going to say that. They had a misprint. They didn't even pull Ultra Rare, so... Not great. Not great. Awakening, Soldier Gaia, Dark Lord Uprising, Goki, Gizmek. We've got the uh, Magical Hound. Trap Gate Fractal. Will we get an Ultra? Okay, we got an Ultra this time. Thank goodness. Uh, the Magician Salvation. Very nice. Little Dark Magician action. All right. Speedroid, the Rookie Four Hire. Okay. Two packs left. Can we pull Ultras this time? Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Not redundant at all. Free, free Dan. We have Dice Dice. We have Chaos Summoning Beast. Titana Cider. Okay. El Shadal Construct, Prismatic Secret, Revolution Dragon, and Beast King or King Beast Barbaros. I always forget there's two versions of that. Beast King Barbaros and King Beast Barbaros, making it just annoying to figure out which one it is. One pack left. Total today, I guess we're opening what? 24 packs, just kind of like a normal opening, but these are giant packs. There's a lot of cards inside. Charge in a Dark World, Awakening, Adam Plater, Relief, Infernoid, Sky Striker, Ace, Rose. That's a nice card. I think we invested in that, in that 1K investment. Titanoclad, wait. Okay, it's almost time to update that. That's coming at the end of this month. Trias, we have the uh, Gaia and some some commons right there. Okay, 2021, look, you did your best, but there's not really much you can do. Your 10 kind of sucks. Back to 2022, which probably, you know, the older you get, the harder it is to compete. Fortunately for 2023, they are newer and they also have the promos. 2022 doesn't have promos. It's a little bit older. 2021, it just, you know, it just gets worse and worse from there. Nine total more packs, three packs to 2022. Let's see what the totals will be. Right now, I'm guessing that 2021 is in dead last. I don't think they've even scored a point, but maybe they have. Cordius, they, this guy looks like a Cloudian. Triff, I don't know. I'm going to give up. Okay, we have a fairy. We have the Chronomaly, Rux and Special, Thrawn. Thrawn? That doesn't look like Thrawn. Okay, interesting. Book of Lunar Eclipse. Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. The Tribergate. Dark Ruler No More. Evil Twin Trouble Sunny. An undaunted bumpkin beast. The bumpkin beast. Watch out. He's coming for it. Two more packs of 2022. 
These people are just, they're just here to participate. They aren't really here to actually pull anything. Stairway, Zexel, Flunderies, Black Eyes. Another Rux Special. Those rares love to be Rux Special. It's a Flow Wondery, so it's probably a good thing I did that. Slower Swallow, Sunvine, the Breaking Ruin God, Revive, Sky God, Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Secret Rare. This one actually, I think, is a decent amount. So this is a, probably a pretty good pull. Uh, so yeah, that was in 2022's 10. So yeah, there's some good stuff in there. One more pack. 2022 has had a couple of good pulls. They're definitely, they're not at zero. They've pulled a few cards. Star Mine, which isn't too bad because the cost of these is pretty low at the moment. Life Twin, Lilith Treat, Ice Jade, Dark Honest. We have seen a lot of Honest recently. It's in the new tens. Dark Honest itself making an appearance. Machina, Uncle Sparse, Dark Magician Girl. I totally forgot these were in 2022. That's a nice pull. It's probably one of the best pulls you can get. How centered it is. I'll probably grade this, honestly. That's a card we're probably going to put in the grading pile. Very nice. I totally forgot about those. That's I might put the Dragoon in there as well. That's pretty sick, actually. Okay, two more tins. 2023. Take one more good look. Oh, it's up. I, they're always upside down. Like, it seems weird. Okay. What promo will we get? Will we get the Stardust Dragon? Here we go. No, we did not get Stardust Dragon. We got the Red Eyes Black Dragon. That ain't bad either. That's definitely better than the last one we got. Okay, that'll add a little bit of value. Three more packs right here. Can we pull something awesome to go along with that red eyes? Twin Shadow, Baku, Dragoonity, Ruxin, special all over the place. That was a super Ruxin special. Ice Jade Curse, Agent of Destruction, Venus, Runic Freezing Curse, Psychic and Punisher, pretty strong card. That might be decent. Fateful Adventure, Therion Irregular, Labyrinth Barrage, and then we have a bunch of commons right there to add on to it. Two more packs for the mega pack can double dust tornado twins can we get something crazy rux super rux special exo sister dynamorphia we have amazon spiritualist shamisin share shamsara sorrow cat dynamorphia teresia the exo sister sophia libromancer agent and that looks like it in that one not too crazy on that pack okay last pack magic for 2023 then we go on to the final 2024 10 which may or may not be a misprint 10 Exclusion, Cucumber Horse Classic, gotta pull that out. Black Feather, Whirlwind, Decisive Battle, Branded Lost, Dull Monster Bear Bear, that is a super rare for some reason. Blackwing Chinook, Dragonic Pendulum, Majesty Pegasus the Draco Slayer, and Ariana Labyrinth Serpent. We have already pulled that one once, so. Okay, not too bad on that 10. Leaving us with one final 10. Look at the score in front of you. I'm not sure, they may have already won already, but who knows. Who really knows? Well, you guys know. I don't. I'm the only one. Will we pull three more misprint secret rares? That would be pretty insane. Let's see what we can get. The red eyes definitely help 2023's case, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. All right. Three more packs. Mega pack time. Here we go. Give us another. Come on. One more or not. Uh, not one more. We want more than one misprint. I mean, come on. MZD Glory Forest. And yes, it is another secret rare misprint to go along with the cosmic blazar dragon qcr and then we got a couple of ultras as well so yes these continue to be insane two packs left you guys enjoyed it do not forget to subscribe to the channel for 250 it's coming very soon branded we have coo coo command uh, to croon Mandicore of smashing will we get another misprint junk warrior that's pretty sick too the junk warrior misprint very nice let's see what else we can get Oh, with the Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend. We've already pulled that, unfortunately. That's a double. That's okay, though. Leaving us with one final pack, guys. If you guys want to see some of this tonight, misprint opening, make sure you're here on Whatnot, 5 p.m. Central, Thursday, a.k.a. today. Tonight, it's going to be insane. We're going to hopefully pull more misprints for you guys. So hopefully you can get lucky and get that Dark Magician Girl because it hasn't been pulled yet. By me, at least. So that's, let's try to make that happen. That card, I mean, if, it's, if these secrets are as rare as people are saying... Being a DMG, I mean, that could be extremely, extremely expensive. SP Little Knight secret. That's an error, SP Little Knight. Okay, that's big. And then a yellow gadget to go along with it. That is big. I totally wish that I owned all of these cases, but I do not. So congratulations to my locals. That is nuts. That SP Little Knight's already a really expensive reprint. You add in the, the misprint. I don't know. It's going to be weird because it was already in a secret. 
So I don't know if that's gonna make it less desirable as a misprint than if it like didn't have a secret rare normally. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And don't miss Whatnot tonight at 5 p.m. Central. We might be able to pull that DMG error secret rare. It's tonight. Shout out to Tone Vosho, Ernesto Deanda, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.